It How is are so you? good. Thank you so much for being here in studio. It's Absolutely. great to see you. It's I been a while. Come. It's Ellen. Are you kidding? Absolutely. And then also, you came bringing gifts. It's the day after Fourth of July, and this is your this is what your favorite cocktail. Tell me about. I'm it. into this BYO tea right now. I'm drinking a lot of tea to stay healthy. Tea okay. is good for you. Okay. But it's really good when you kick it down with a little bit of alcohol. Oh, so this is actually Owl's Brew. It's a boozy tea, and cheers up for the summer. Cheers. Time. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's mm. so good. Don't sip too much. That is very good. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna babysit that for a second. Now, what's great about this is we're actually so you film the real on the lot, so I we're know. actually like neighbors here. But you, but you know, since y'all have been filming at home, this is your first time back on the lot, right? I have not been here since the official lockdown last March. Wow. Like I used to walk around these streets. I yep. would like holler at Ellen when she would drive in. I would see you all the time. Absolutely. But now you're holding it down for us. Hey, listen, I, I, we're having a good time, and, we're, and obviously we tried. We really figured it out with the virtual audience and everything. I'm yes. really proud of the show we're putting on. I'm right now. proud of you yeah. guys how you did this because we need this every day, you know. Absolutely. But I did have the option of doing. Zoom or coming in person, and I was like, are you kidding me? An opportunity to show off my shoes on Ellen? <laughs> <laughs> and we can clap for those. We can clap for those, absolutely. <laughs> now, it's crazy to say this, but the eighth season of The Real is coming up, right? And it's just like, uh, that time, A, has flown, and it's, just, and it's also incredible, so congratulations Thank for that. You. And then also, what is, what is it like to look back on those years now? Man, we started out as the little show that could, you right. know, a show about uh, women of color. Right. And we were told we couldn't make it. We had a really, you know, uh, a lot of people didn't believe in us. And mm. we didn't just make it. We did it Absolutely. and continue to do Let's it. Let's go and continue. An Emmy later, two NAACP awards later, and, and Ellen, and you guys have been so supportive every time. I feel like the juju comes from next door. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, also, it's, it's one of those things where it's just like, it, I think we need, like, those pillars where we are, like, talking about love, talking about life, and giving light and love to people where we might need it, right? Absolutely. news can get a little crazy, so it's nice to tune in with somebody that has heart, you know yes. what I'm saying? Absolutely. And to talk about our different cultures and our upbringings, and, and to see people actually come from diverse backgrounds and to hear, you know, what their home story is like, because everybody is so different. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. Now, I want to shift gears for just a second. So, talking about powerful women, by the way, uh, my wife, Allison, y'all y'all speak back and forth on Instagram. I know I feel the same way. I know. Um, no, guys, I, I like Twitch, and, and he's awesome. He's my bro. <laughs> but I love Allison. I love her. She just holds it down, man. Absolutely. Like, I always, I just, I think you guys are so cool and so bomb. You guys are great parents. You guys are so inclusive thank with you. all your videos. You make me want to get up and dance. Thank you, thank no you. matter what, I just love watching you guys. Everything you guys do. We DM each other. We got love notes going on to each That's other because awesome. I just send her so much love and support. That's awesome. And then, and then what we have in common too, you're, you're married now since you've been here last. Congrats. She's grown, guys. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's incredible. I joined the married club. That is incredible. <laughs> How's it feel so far? How, how is okay. it? I think being married uh, is just so exhilarating. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, a built-in best friend, somebody right. who's always going to kill the spiders when you need them to. <laughs> You've got, like, a toe warmer at night and somebody who's always down to listen to your stories. He's a dance partner to me, too. Jeezy is the love of my life, and I am so thankful to just have him, to just hold him and celebrate him every day. That's so awesome. I yes. love that. Love Clap it. for that love. I love that. And then I understand, so I, I, I'd imagine that the, whole, that the whole wedding process was just, was just an event all in its own. Yes. And I understand your mom went all out with her outfit for it. Yo, yo, okay, let's talk about this really quick, okay? So my mother is Vietnamese, and with Vietnamese women, they, they like to make their own rules, which mm. is cool. That's great. Taught me how to be dominant. I asked one favor. I said to all of our wedding guests, it was a COVID-safe wedding. We only invited select people who knew us mm. both, and, and it was intimate. And we said, um, just wear off-white. Please come in your own fashionable ensemble of off-white. Mm -hmm. Mama Mai said to me, the curtain is so pretty. Can I wear the curtain? And I'm like, <laughs> the curtain? Why would you wear the curtain? It looks so nice. So she took the curtains, threw them on her body, took the house plant, put it together in a whole ensemble. And can we just talk about my amazing husband? Look at that man just giving my yeah. mom her shine. This is why I married that man, because he will be like, yo, mom, just get it in, because yeah. this is That's just patience right, now. right there. Yeah, you see him? <laughs> I, I can't. That. But at the same time, this is my family. This is why I love them so much. They will show up, and Absolutely. they will show up unforgettable Absolutely. to my wedding. Absolutely. And you know what? Transition is saying. Speaking of showing up, there's something I want to talk about, too. I know you're an activist for the Asian American and yes. Pacific Islander community. And with everything going on right now, I feel like there's there, people have a hunger to help. And we want to get involved and, and figure out, like, what are ways in which we could do that? Absolutely. 
Well, I think the first thing to understand about um, Asian history is that it's not taught enough. I think mm. we both know this, that mm -hmm. you know, we're not taught enough about the minority groups and their Absolutely. amazing, luxurious, beautiful history out Absolutely. there. So the one thing I would ask people to do is to be actively anti-racist, mm. you know? Um, we're gonna continue to, in America, I feel like we're gonna continue to hear about race issues in our national system until mm -hmm. we dismantle racism ourselves. Mm -hmm. And part of those things mean supporting people of color when it comes to the arts, mm -hmm. their businesses, their mm -hmm. projects, making sure that we see how they show up in our community. Mm -hmm. And also look at your group of friends out there. If everybody looks like you, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. need to have friends that reflect what it looks like in America, which Absolutely. is diverse, beautiful, and colorful. And Absolutely. so just to be aware of your friends. Talking about. Absolutely. Y'all, yeah. we're gonna keep it going. We got more with Jenny, Jenny Mai after this. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,